Types of gyros. The rate gyro has one gimbal, which is used to measure rate of turn. Turn and balance indicator, also called a turn and bank indicator, consists of two instruments in one case. The turn component shows rate and direction of turn. The balance component shows whether the aircraft is balanced or skidding out of or slipping into a turn. It has a horizontal axis gyro in that its spin axis is mounted athwart ships so that the gyro spins in the fore aft axis of the aircraft. Primary precession is tilt of the rotor due to the aircraft entering a turn. While precessing, the gyro stretches a restraining spring until the spring prevents further deflection of the gyro. The spring force is a measure of the rate of turn. For the secondary precession, the stretched spring force makes the gyro precess with the aircraft turn until the rates match and further tilt of the gyro ceases. Rotor speed is very important for an accurate reading. With a reduction in rotor speed, the pointer indicates a lesser rate of turn. The gyro is less rigid and precesses quicker. With a rotor speed too high, the pointer indicates a higher rate of turn than that being flown. If the spring is weak, it will permit the gyro to tilt more than it should and therefore the indicated rate of turn will be too high. For a rate 1 turn, bank angle is equal to the square root of the true airspeed plus 7, or TAS divided by 10 plus 7. The balance indicator. This is formed of a pendulous weight in the form of a ball in a liquid filled tube. When the aircraft is straight and level there is no centrifugal force and the ball is in the centre of the tube. In a balanced turn the centrifugal force and gravity balance to keep the ball in the centre of the tube. When underbank the aircraft skids out of the turn, the ball is on the outside of the turn. When overbanked the aircraft slips into the turn. The ball is on the inside of the turn. To rectify this, always step on the side that the ball is on. Turn and slip indicator presentation. In these four diagrams, one indicates straight and level flight. Two indicates a turn to the left because the needle is to the left and the ball is out to the right. This is a skid. In three, this indicates a turn to the right because the needle is to the right and the ball is on the same side, indicating a slip into the turn. Four indicates a turn to the left because the needle's to the left, and with the ball on the left also, this indicates a slip into the turn. It's a left turn with insufficient rudder. The turn coordinator. The turn coordinator racks to turning and also to rate of roll. The gimbal axis is inclined to the aircraft fore-aft axis. The gyro is sensitive to banking and turning. 